I'm honored. Thank you so much to the Columbia and Celeste and Press Advisors Association for presenting me this award. I am just dumbfounded that I'm even standing here right now. I, there's so many deserving people. Um, and I also promised Mr. Sullivan when he asked me to say a few words that I would try my very best not to embarrass my state, my Scholastic Press organization, my family, myself, my university, but, but I think we can all agree that that ship sailed when we drove, drove from Alabama into Manhattan with our Alabama license plate pulled up to the hotel and for incredibly legitimate reasons had to ask the valet to take some of our clothes in that were in a trash bag. <laughs> I told her, we're going to reinforce every stereotype you have before we leave, so just get ready for it. Um, and then this morning, on the way over here, the cab driver asked, how did you put it? Um, where do you come from? And what do you think the whole cab said? My father answered, well, where we come from Alabama, and the rest of us all together now with a banjo on our knee. And I thought, yeah. well, now we've gone and done. Like, that's all we can do, really, pretty much. Um, it's like, we're going to New York City now, so anyway, we do have manners. We, we have actually lived here before, but I'm so pleased to be back to accept this award. And um, I have a, a whole team behind me. I have a huge family, and I mean that in the sense of scholastic journalism. People I've seen today, Logan and Monica and Bruce and Mary Kay and Lynn and Kathy and all of you who I haven't mentioned. It's just like a little reunion, and I love it. And I, I also must point out, I have an actual family. Here. My parents, Carol and Mary Cummings, who've been married 50 years this year. So. <laughs> and I wouldn't be who I am without them for sure. My daughter, Isabel Retzinos, is here. She's, a, she's been doing journalism since she was six, and now she's 11, so she's an old pro at this point. Um, my dean, how many of y'all have a dean that would travel across the country for you? I do. Uh, dean Jennifer Greer, Dr. Greer, are you? I'm over here. Oh, I'm recording you. She's <laughs> yes. Information Sciences, and some of the things that were, I was given credit for in reviving ASK from the Dark Ages and bringing in ESK could not have happened without her support for sure. So I'm really thrilled, and she's a great role model too, raising three daughters and being a dean and jet setting across the country. I don't know how she did it, so I'm, I'm just blessed to have such a wonderful mentor. Um, and RJ Morgan, Mississippi's Classic Press Association, our adopted Mississippi brethren. <laughs> and um, finally, it's teachers like Erin Coggins, who's sitting here videoing me right now, that make me look so good. Y'all, she's got um, a newspaper staff, a yearbook staff, an online staff, and is, just for fun, she doesn't have anything else to do, going to add broadcast next year. Um, and it's teachers like Erin, stand up, Erin, you deserve a round of applause. Yes. Uh, it's teachers like Erin. Mention, I, I, my home was badly damaged in a tornado in 2011, and I lost a lot. And before I came here, I found a box, it was, it was the last box, it's been shoved in a closet, it was the last box of stuff we had picked up, you know, off the property. And it had been sitting there for almost three years now. And uh, I went through it, and I thought, this is my, my, I don't know, 15 year old self speaking to me, but one of the things that was in that box was, a stack of my first high school newspapers, and um, this is it in all of its mimeographed glory. <laughs> it doesn't even fold, y'all. It's just one page. There's no fold. And to boot, we had a column, uh, clearly an advice column called Dear Taffy. So there you go. Um, and I, I sort of fell in love with journalism really after high school, but that started it. And we, as journalists, as educators are so privileged to have the opportunity to get students excited about what they love and then bring that to journalism. Whenever I go to schools, and I'm in a lot of K-12 schools for in National Elementary School Press Association, and I can even ask little ones, what do you love to do when you're not in school? And whatever they say, whether it's video games, or um, I had a, a kid in Alabama tell me he liked to snowboard. I'm like, you know we're in Alabama, right? Uh, but whatever they love, if it's knitting, if it's cats, whatever they love, we can take that enthusiasm and channel it into journalism because we need people to write about these things for 
websites and for magazines and for newspapers. And we need people to take pictures of these things and lay them out. And it's just such a privilege that we have to take people who are already interested and passionate about something and show them how it can be used for journalism. And um, I just think that we're so fortunate to be able to do that. Um, I'll, I'll leave you with one more thought, and that is I noticed the um, Pulitzer erected statue in front of the journalism building, and the words on it say, love, cherish, defend it. And that's exactly what we need to do with our students today. Um, thank you very much for this award. I appreciate it.